Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, talking about uh, the uh, sitting volleyball Egyptian team in the Paralympic Games in Tokyo 2020. And we're joined over the phone by Dr. Mosa Adelayuti, head coach, Egyptian sitting volleyball. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, so with the exception of 1996 Games, Egypt had appeared at every edition of the Paralympic Games since 1980 and were the first African nation to compete in men's sitting volleyball at the Games. Can you please tell us uh, about the team's achievement this year? Uh, for this year, you know, before one year ago, the, everything is stopped. But at this time, the Egyptian team ha has a ranking three of the world. And we are now, as you know, in Paralympic Games, and we play in the group now. We play two matches. One match we, we lose from, uh, against Bosnia, and the other match against uh, Japan, we, we win 3-0. Mm -hmm. So we are waiting for tomorrow. Yes. But for, for our team, for Egyptian team, Egyptian team, one of the best team in the world. We have uh, many championship in the world championship. We have two bronze medals in the world championship. We have two bronze medals in the Paralympic Games, one in Athena and the other in the last Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. And yes. for African, we are a champion for African many years ago. Well, uh, Cairo is chosen to host the sitting volleyball World Cup in December. Can you please tell us about the preparations for this event? Yes, we are already um, we're going to hosting uh, the World Champion in, in December in Egypt. Um, so we'll tell now we are wait, waiting for end of this month to know how many teams will join uh, this uh, championship. And then we can know how many teams. So I think it will be good hosting for Egyptian. Egyptian now uh, very safety to hosting in champion and we so what happened in uh, handball championship last year? So I think we will have a good championship if we go into to hosting this uh, event. Yes. Well, sir, what are your expectations for the next days or the coming days for the Egyptian team? Yes, we have a very very hard match, very important match, uh, and by Egyptian time will be at three in the morning. By time in Japan, Tokyo is 10 in the morning. This is very, very important match against the Russian team. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, to, to win in this match to, to qualify for, uh, for semi-final. And uh, if any reason happens and we lose this match, we're going to play from place 5 or, or 6. I hope we can, we can win tomorrow because we need to win 3-0 in this match. Mm -hmm. But my team ready, we are preparing the team very good, and I hope we can pass this match by good results and we go for semi-final. I ask you, I ask all Egyptians to try for Egyptian team to pass from this match. Sure. Well, uh, sir, uh, in your opinion, what are the main challenges facing uh, the Paralympic team or the Paralympic athletes? What do you say again? Sorry. Uh, in your opinion, what are the main challenges facing the Egyptian team? Yes, if you coming and you are one of the best team, you are have you have a challenge because you are already have a bronze medal from last Paralympic Games. So we have a challenge from first we go to play in the final match. Yes. So we still have this chance for tomorrow. If we go to win 3-0, we go with good points. We can play. And in the final, because we go to play in semi-final, maybe we don't know about other groups, maybe Brazil, maybe Germany, and we have a chance to play in, this, in, the, in the final. We have a chance, but it's very hard chance, but nothing impossible. We can, we, no, nothing. We can do something go tomorrow. Maybe we can do big surprise tomorrow. Yes, well, I would like to thank you very much, Dr. Mossad al Ayouti, head coach, Egyptian sitting volleyball. Many thanks for your insight. And your viewers, now we go to a short break and we'll be right back.